Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to be talking about a Steam game that's actually coming to Roblox, or should I say it's already come to Roblox, because they actually have uh, fully released the beta version of the Roblox version of this game. I I'm guessing. I, I don't know what to expect, because we're going to check it out after I explain all of this. But um, basically, this game called Aim Lab has decided to make a Roblox version um, of the Steam game, I'm assuming. Again, I, I don't know if it's just the same name, but two different things. But from the looks of the trailer that they posted on Twitter, it looks like it's like a Roblox version of the Steam game. And technically, I, I guess someone can argue that it's not really a game because it's it's more of like an aim trainer. Like your whole purpose in the game is to uh, just practice your aim. Like for example, a bunch of random dots would spawn. I, I'm pretty sure you guys see my mouse. So like imagine a dot here and a dot here. You literally just have to like flick back and forth and like practice your aim and like sometimes the dots move. You have to follow the dots, stuff like that. So basically the whole purpose is to help you get better at aiming, hence the name Aim Lab. And I, I don't know if I should play this video that shows what I was trying to explain. You know, I'll, I'll just click play so you guys can see what I mean. You see, the whole purpose here is to, uh, you know, help you practice your aiming, like I said. Um, like, you see right here, like, they're just practicing on these little dots there. So you get my point, right? Now, they actually tweeted um, earlier today that they have uh, officially released the beta version of this game on Roblox. So let's go take a look at that tweet. So as you can see, um, the Twitter account, um, which says AimLab, like that's their actual Twitter account, um, they tweeted AimLab plus Roblox equals AimBlocks. And if you take a look at the trailer video, you can see that it's pretty much like the Steam trailer, um, like you see. And then also it looks like there's a game part, which is why I'm saying I'm not sure if it's a 100% like the same thing. Um, as it is on Steam because I mean I didn't see anything about like you know an actual game like with numerous people like or your friends like they said here so like I said we're gonna check this out in a, in a few but as you can see um this whole like the purpose of this is to help you practice your aim and there are a lot of pretty popular FPS games on Roblox so this would definitely be very useful for a lot of uh, Roblox players who might not be able to run the game on Steam or cannot have Steam, or any of those reasons. So yeah, I, I kind of want to check this out right now. So let's go into the game and see what it's all about. So as you can see, the Roblox game is called Aimblocks Beta, and in brackets it says launch. And in the description it says the beta is out, no more data resets, exclusive items for alpha players is out. So I guess they also had an alpha stage, but um, yeah, as you can see, uh, it says right here, made by the creators of Aim Lab on Steam and Wild Revolver. I believe this is a Roblox game. So that's actually pretty cool that they collaborated with people who make games on Roblox. So without further ado, let's actually go check out the game, you know, in game. All right, so um, we spawned in a garage, I guess. This kind of looks like a garage. Oh, it says leave the garage. So yeah, I guess I was right. So I left the garage. Let's see what's next. Um, I guess this is supposed to be like a tutorial or a story mode or something. Um, I honestly don't really... Okay, I was gonna say I don't really want to read this in, like, in case it's like a lore thing, I don't know. Um, they want me to pick my favorite skin. I don't know which one I like the most here out of the... I think I like this one. I, I like this one the most. Alright, so um, that will be mine, it said. So that's cool. At least I'll have my own... Uh, weapon to practice aiming with. I, I, I don't know what I would be practicing aiming with if I didn't have my own weapon. Um, okay, so here it is right here. Uh, okay, so they're telling me right now to practice my aiming. Let me close the little tab thing. Take out my weapon. And as you can see, there are a bunch of floating dots. You see they move up and down and you're supposed to like practice, you know, just shooting them. That's what it says, so shoot the targets. Um, my excuse here is that I do not play many Roblox FPS games anymore. That's why my aim was kind of bad. I was missing a bunch of uh, targets there. Um, and that's my excuse, okay? And I know a lot of you probably won't care about my excuse, but that's my excuse. And I wasn't reading, so I don't know what this test that they want me to do is. So, oh, uh, click to ready up. Okay, three, two, one. What am I doing here? Uh, boop, 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 boop. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing they just want me to hit as many targets as possible. Um, now, my Roblox sensitivity is very weird, like, I play a lot of other FPS games, but my Roblox FPS in comparison to the other ones is not what I'm used to. Um, I try to make it similar to what I have in other games, but as you can see, I'm missing some targets because, and I have to slow down sometimes because, like I said, I'm not very used to the sensitivity. 
Let's see. I missed default bowl. Oh, yeah, that's because... Oh, yeah, I missed the first one. <laughs> I just realized that. I think. Did I miss the first one? I don't know. It's kind of funny if I did. I just missed a fully stationary one that just spawned in. Wait, there's a competitive mode? Okay, so, so I don't think this is anything like the... Or not anything like it. Obviously, the whole purpose is the exact same to help you uh, practice your aiming. But I don't believe the Steam one has a competitive... I could be completely wrong in saying this. Um, but I've played another one of those uh, aim trainer games. And it didn't have any of that. And I'm assuming this is like a competitor to that one. So I don't think the Steam one has a competitive thing. Like I looked at the Steam page. I read through it. I don't believe I saw anything about a competitive thing. I'm pretty sure the whole purpose of the Steam game was just that. So choose by starting location. Stages, competitive, aim trainer. I'm going to aim trainer. Let's see what this is about. This is the more interesting part to me. Uh, let's see. Um, task. Oh, they have a lot of different stuff already. Let's see. Uh, this is all... Oh, wait. Okay, so the filters don't work, I don't think. Because, uh, as you can see, I'm clicking through all of these. It's not changing. Uh, okay, so I don't know what any of this means. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to do... Grid shot. Let's see what that is. On a map, this one is the only one with the picture, so I'll pick this. And... Let's see. Wow, they have a lot of different stuff, actually. That's pretty cool. Um... I'll just go with the AK for now. Uh, wait, let me see what the settings is. Field of view sensitivity. Oh, that's actually cool. So I could change my sensitivity from how it was before. Oh, there was a code that they put in the description for, I guess it's $100, that's good to know. Um, so as you guys can see, that's the code. I'm, I'm not gonna read it out because I don't know if YouTube likes that word, but yeah. Uh, field of view, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all of these on default. I wanna see what this game is like, just pure practicing, let's see. Okay, um, so I, I believe Oh, this is what we just did. Oh. I wonder if this is like... Is this an automatic? It is. <laughs> I could just... <laughs> uh, let me just... Let me actually... Oh my god. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, I'm moving a little bit too far. And this sensitivity feels a little bit different than the one I was literally just using. I know my score is going to be terrible because I was just spraying everywhere. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, this is a really cool game, and assuming you get your sensitivity right, and it's similar to what you'd use in other games, this could be very beneficial. Um, let me see. Yeah, my accuracy was 70. Wait. I was messing around, and my score wasn't that bad compared to the world records here. Um, let me try that again, actually. Uh, I, I want to see if I actually try, like, I, I don't want to be completely distracted right now, but I want to see if I actually try, is there a chance that I could get on the world record board right now? Because this came out today, I believe, like, earlier today. Like, I believe the tweet said, like, 14 hours ago. So, hopefully, like, the high scores haven't already been increased a ton by people who are really good at Roblox FPS games. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this chance to, uh, say I have a world record in a Roblox game. Um, because that would be really good clickbait if that was the case. I almost had 100% accuracy, but I just missed two. Um, let's see. 9.3k. I did much better than before, and somehow my score barely increased. All right. So it looks like I will not be getting to the leaderboard. However, 9400 isn't bad compared to these, I don't think. Right? I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like that might be terrible. So, yeah, 97% accuracy because I missed two, and um, 94 hits on the circles, and I think that was 30 seconds. So, yeah, if you want a challenge, um, I'm not very good, so it won't be that bad of a challenge, but you could definitely uh, try to beat that. Um, I kind of want to check out these stages, too. Like, I know this video is probably getting very long. Um, you know, I'm actually going to... I don't know if I want to check this out. There's a career mode? Hold on, wait, there's a career mode. Hold on, there's a career mode. I want to see this. New rank simulation world. Hold on, I, I want to check out this career mode, actually. I know this video is probably going to be somewhat long because I'm checking all this stuff out. But I really want to see what's in here. Like, what's in this game? Uh, I'm, I'm going to skip the story, like I said, uh, just so it's not, you know, gonna, I'm, I'm not trying to drag this video on or anything. Uh, and I'm assuming the dialogue isn't super important. Let's just go here. Um, one, I'm assuming select. Hurry up. Quick start. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I need to, uh, I need to at least try this out um, in the video. I want to see what this is, this career mode. Uh... Oh, I think this was what the, this was in the video, the Twitter video we we're looking at, I think. 
like this uh, zone or whatever. Um, okay, so I guess career mode is just like increment. I'm assuming it will be like incremental challenges. Like I see a bar on my side. I'm not looking at the bar because obviously I'm playing the game right now. Yeah, okay, so I see wave complete. Yeah, so it's like an incremental thing. That's actually really cool. Like you see now it gives me another 30 seconds to ready up. So I can look at this bar. It says two out of four. Um, for press escape. You can see right here, um, so I'm assuming this would be three and then this would be four out of four. Uh, let me just click to ready up. I, I, I want to finish this one like stage real quick just so you guys could see. Hopefully I don't fail and because um, that would be kind of embarrassing if I fail when I'm trying to uh, show this off to you guys. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's just supposed to be incrementally harder. Like I think I'm, yeah, I missed one because I shot too late. Whatever. Um, can I ready up? Thank you. Oh, wait, now it says 3 out of 4 and the bar didn't move up, but, like, I don't know how to explain what just happened. Like, the colors just shifted so much. This is pretty cool, though. I don't know if you're supposed to hit them in the order that they appear, by the way. Oh, I missed. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to hit them in the order that they appear. That is definitely something I should have probably paid more attention to. Um, because I'm just doing whatever feels easiest. Okay, final wave. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, boop, 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 boop. I'm sure for most people this is probably boring to watch anyway, so I, I, I if you guys are watching this, I, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for sticking around as you watch me just click on circles that appear in front of me randomly, um, with okay accuracy, I guess. I, I, I wonder if this tells me my accuracy and all the statistical breakdowns of, uh, my stuff. Okay, let's see, uh, level beaten. Can I get a statistical breakdown of my stuff? Oh, it didn't, I, okay, it just didn't update. Okay, so here's my breakdown right here. I clicked on 86 circles with 97% accuracy. Now my score was, oh my God, my score was terrible. Oh, I could keep going. I think that's what it is. Like, I think these people just kept going on these levels. So I'll return to the lobby. But yeah, that's basically what Aim Lab on Roblox is like. And it's really, really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I could actually see myself just playing this. Like, uh, just to practice, because like I said, I'm definitely gonna need it if I ever want background footage because, uh, like I said, <laughs> I have not played it forever, and my accuracy, as you can see, isn't quite the best. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to check this out, because it's not every day that you hear that a Steam game is coming to Roblox. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.